Well, it's time to see how bad this tank really is. Get rid of this line here. Get some gloves and we'll uh, do a little buffet. This paint on the uh, tank, it's pretty tough. I gotta work pretty hard to get this uh, buffed off. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Just gotta be patient. Well, what else do I got that would work? Well, she's looking pretty rough. I got some of it buffed off, but then I decided that there's gotta be an easier way. Let me show you what I'm doing now. I just uh, heat the paint up with a torch. Just take your wire wheel. This comes right off. And uh, that works a lot better. Now, what I've decided that I probably will put a patch in here. This is just, you can't weld this up. So we're gonna patch this. I'm gonna take and cut it out, but I gotta leave these in, you know, like, I don't know. It's a tough call. I might just leave this spot in here, and then wherever my, uh, my welds are, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder over top of them. And I think that, and then I'll solder the seam here again. But we'll get her, uh, we'll get her welded up first on the inside. See if you can see that. So on the inside, you can see she's rusted. But, it's just one little line, and I think I can weld that. Cause you know, like a rambling guy like me can handle that. That's pretty easy, I do that all day long. But um, I tried this little spot right down here, and it welded really, really well. And then I thought what I would do is I would just cover it with with uh, solder, it kind of pooled on me. It got a little heavy there, but uh, that's okay. And that way, if there's any pinholes whatsoever, it should look after it. So that is the plan. Now I just gotta make a pattern. And the problem I have is, you know, these little guys are all brazed I don't have that technology anymore. I give it up. So what I'm gonna do is probably end up soldering around those. And that's not a big deal either. Let's get a pattern.
coming along. It's going to be a fun little uh, welding job, let me tell you. And the whole idea, here's my thinking. I'll weld this up, and because it's kind of on a corner, I'll be able to uh, just feather that out. And you won't even know there was a repair. So I think the, the patch should slip right over top. Still got a lot of stuff to remove down here. That's yeah, looking pretty good. Trim a little bit more off the top over here. You know, this is kind of depressing, but one thing that, you know, it's kind of a shining light. Whoever repaired these, you know, look at the holes here. You know, when I was, when I had this thing filled up with uh, vinegar, there was only just a slight, slight little drip. And I think it was coming out of one of these on the inside. So, you know, kudos to that. I don't know if it was a gas tank repair or JB. Well, there's something that they used on here. Wow, I am, I'm just dazzled that that actually worked. So, I guess in a pinch, worked that many years. I'm not doing that though. I wasn't going to cut the uh, tubes out, but I'm glad I did. This is completely blocked off, so it wouldn't work very well. It's a crossover, so I'm going to get that all cleaned up and then see if I can uh, weld that up. I got a plan. I've decided to, uh, you know, the crossover tubes, I've decided to weld around it on the back side, fill the holes up, and then I'm going to weld that onto my patch. So I've got this all welded up, fairly tight, so what I'm going to do is I just want to cut it out of here now, and then we'll, uh, figure out what we're going to do over here.
That's what it looks like. I think it's going to work out good. That's not going to leak. Okay, I made sure everything was really, really good and clean here. Ground off. This is satin coat, so I ground off the, uh, you know, the, the satin coat layer. It's kind of a gal brush, brushed galvanized. So I think we're ready to tack this in. Kind of goes like right about there. Pretty happy, I think that's going to work. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. It's welded really, really well. And I got my trigger figured out. I had to flange it a little bit, but it's working good. So, I think it's time to work on this side. See if we can get this figured out. I should have did a little bit of work and got the dolly in here and cleaned that up a little bit, but I'll get this side over here when I get this all cut out of here. So I think that's next. So I'm just slowly building up around the uh, up around the uh, tube and the uh, outlet, and uh, it's coming. It's slow. You can see I've got a couple pretty big holes there to fill, but I'll get her. it all up in and around it. it actually didn't take that much at all and the good thing is, is when you're welding on the back you can take your time and it did not really it didn't disturb the uh, brass at all so I'm confident I've got a really really good seal now I'll just cut these out and I'll weld them into the, uh, my new patch happy with that Okay, 
Okay, we got our fitting. Now, you know, I, I thought about uh, just uh, grinding off all the, you know, the brass and then re-welding that, but the problem that I have with that is that this has got a big bump in it because it goes in on an angle. So I was able to uh, keep that because of the method that I used. And this is going to work out just the same. Yeah. Vice grip now. What did I do with it? That looks pretty good right there. Okay, can tack that in there. Let's tack it up. You know, I'm really, really happy with that. Now I just have to weld it all up, and uh, that's going to take some time. But, you know, that's the easy part. And this side, which would be the uh, driver's side, there's almost no rust. There's just a couple of spots that i got to fix on the inside. But on this side, she starts up here and goes all the way. So there's going to be a little bit of uh, time spent, you know, filling these holes. I wasn't interested in putting a patch in here at all. You know, I can weld these up. Uh, it's just right on the edge of the seam, so our metal's good up top. And that's pretty easy for a, for a body man guy to do. So the confidence level's way up. I think that, I'm hoping tonight I'll have this all welded up. And... I'm going to throw the vinegar back in it and see if we got any leaks. It'll be good. It has to be good.
everything's, uh, you know, I give it a, a rough grind. I'm not going to do my final grind until I'm ready to do the body work. But you want to grind it because sometimes, you know, those little pinholes are hidden underneath the surface. So I found, uh, well, there wasn't a bunch, but there's still, I had to fix a couple of them. And I missed a couple of holes on the inside, but I think we uh, pretty confident. So what I'm going to do, well, first of all, I'm going to show you before and after. So you can see, you know, how holy this was. Like that whole bottom is, is, was just gone. Of course, this is where I cut the dewy out. But much better, much better. I'm glad it was uh, rusted out, you know, this badly. You know, if there was only a couple pits, I would have been kind of thinking, maybe I'll just weld the pits, the holes up. But I'm glad that I replaced the bottoms. Is a, it's a lot more effort, but in the long run, it's going to last way, way longer. So what I'm going to do, pretty hard to kind of tell where everything would be leaking. So I'm going to uh, just put a little bit of paper towel around. And that'll show a wet spot. It should be a little bit farther over here. Here we go. That'll show a wet spot if it's leaking. And then I can do a little bit more investigating and find out where it's leaking from. this done and then we'll uh, fill it back up with some vinegar. And hope for the best. Yeah, it's pouring in on that side there. Let's get a little bit on this side. Crossover plugs are uh, clear now, so it should just go equalize. Let's see if we got any initial uh, leaks. Yeah. Where's it leaking from? Ah, oh, I got one there. One there. Okay, I do have a couple leaks and they're on the inside. Gonna get my flashlight out, I'll figure that out, dump this and weld them up. Oh yeah, there's one there. got the holes all uh, welded up. That was a bigger job than I expected. You know, you're chasing things you can't even see. You know, you think you got a good weld and then it just 
you know, there'd be a little bubble and you'd have to hit that little spot again. So be prepared. Now I know that, you know, on the inside, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some solder because, you know, that's not a new piece of metal. And I'm okay with that, but I wanted it to be uh, sealed before I go with the solder. So I just kept, kept spotting the little spots that were leaking. And I think I got her. This is gonna be my last attempt here. I hope. And then when I get everything soldered up, then I'm going to uh, put the vinegar back in for another, uh, you know, good good day. And you know, just just testing it. You know, I would put some vinegar in it, and then I would uh, let it sit, look for the, the leaks, and even just doing that, it's it's amazing how much is actually coming out of it. God is coming out of this uh, out of my drain here. I haven't got it shut off there. There we go. Whew. Close call. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit, and then uh, we'll come back to it. This side looks good. Yeah, that looks good too. Nothing on the outside. Okay, time to do some soldering. Now I want to solder these uh, tubes and of course the outlet, but you need to get everything as clean as it can get. So I'm just using my, uh, just a little bit here. Clean as I can. Much easier if I had a uh, die grinder, but that's okay. Think I'm gonna try a drill bit. Drill bit's working pretty good to get inside here. This guy broke a piece of work. Just gotta make sure I don't move my tank when I'm drilling. Throw a little paste on there. This is just stuff I got uh, out of my plumbing kit. So, nothing fancy here, no silver solder or anything like that. Just Straight up. Basically just want to fill the cavity up.
Just like that. You can see the air bubbling out of there. As long as it doesn't leave a pinhole, I'm pretty happy. That looks pretty good. Tip this just a little bit. There we go. A little bit too much in there. There we go. Now it's looking good. Brush going again in this one area right here. Just tip it back a little bit. This is going to, there we go. One more crack to fill. There, I think we got her. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I can clean this all up with a die grinder later. Uh, just about got her. I'm just using this. I don't know. It's kind of like a little uh, abrasive uh, wheel, kind of a plastic wheel. It's a really nice job of cleaning things up. All this stuff here, I'm gonna clean up with the die grinder anyway. When I do the body work. Done a little bit here already. And I was playing around. Put a little bit on this side, see if this would disappear. Eh, doesn't look as nice, but once I get that cleaned up, it'll be beautiful. This is just, this is just the added uh, uh, feature here. We're not, it doesn't leak right now, but you know, down the road, I think I'm gonna do something with the, uh, some sort of a liner, but down the road, if it prevents something, I'm willing to put the time in.
the soldering is uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but kind of learning as I go, just kind of control the heat. I was getting a little bit too much heat. Some guys out there that could probably just do this like nothing. And I'm just, I'm not using the lead, I'm using a, uh, this is lead free, 95.5, whatever that is. 95.10, so it doesn't flow as good as lead. Okay, got her cleaned up a little bit there. That uh, soldering was a bit of a pain, but you know what? It, I think it did its job. I got a pretty good uh, coat on here. And up here, there's a, it's a little bit, just gonna be that extra little bit of uh, security. So, what I'm gonna do now, oh, I gotta put it back together here. <clears throat> Fill her right up with the uh, vinegar tonight. Just topping her up with a new jug here, jug number three. Of course I've lost a little bit, you know, pouring it in, pouring it out. <laughs> I'm about half an inch from the top. There's a little bit in the bucket. Half an inch should be pretty good. The upper part wasn't too bad of shape. All right, we'll let that sit overnight. Take a look at her in the morning. Just looking for some leaks. Oh yeah, I think we got her. Looks good, it's the next morning. So what I think I'm gonna to have to do, I got this full of uh, vinegar here, I'm gonna drain this, and then I think I'll rinse it with some uh, soapy water, and uh, maybe that'll keep it from, because I've kind of noticed that, you know, as soon as you drain the uh, vinegar, 
and air gets to it, then you get a little bit of rust. So if I uh, give it a good rinse with some soapy water, that might prevent that. No. Well, that sure makes me happy. A lot of work to prevent those uh, leaks. And I do have some uh, gas line or gas tank uh, liner or sealer coming, and that's going to be that other level. I don't want this thing to ever leak again. All right, I'm gonna go get some soapy water. Gonna pour that out by the shed, and I think we're done for now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this to the shop, my other shop, and where I've got the die grinder, and just just gonna clean up everything and get it ready for stage number two, the bodywork. <laughs> 